Hello, it has been a while. It feels so good to be back. You guys, I always said um, I'm not going to start YouTube and then not come back. Like, I have to be consistent. But if you don't know, um, we bought a house. So I'm so super excited. I was busy um, putting all the boxes up and doing all of that, but I'm finally back. So it feels so good. Um, today is going to be more of a get ready chit chat with me. I'm not really going to go into depth about every little thing that I'm doing just because just because I, I feel like talking to you all, you know? And it's going to be a really easy look and you're going to be like, hmm, I still look good. I'm at home and I look good. It's one of those looks, you know? But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I had seen that some people use um, their contour color on their eyelids. Oh, that feels so good. And um, instead of like brown eyeshadow. So I wanted to give it a try and see how it works. So I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Stick. This is in the shade Mocha. I'm just going to take my brush like I usually do and just um, dip it into this contour shade and I am just gonna go in with it so like I was telling y'all we moved and honestly like it was so crazy so we started the whole process I think it was like in February I want to say and um, like at first I don't know I feel like just buying a house is so intimidating to everyone I don't know why or what like to me it was just like it's probably a lot of work and a lot of paperwork and this and that but my husband he is so amazing like he took care of all of that um and he was the same way like I think we were just scared to um I don't know buy a house like it's just I don't know it's like a big commitment like I don't know I feel like it's like you're finally growing up like buying a house is like oh my gosh you're an adult you know but anyways um so we did it the process like it moved pretty quickly once the paperwork was in and everything um our realtor was so good like he was on top of everything um so we had seen a few houses and whenever we came to this one I was like I want this house like this is our house I know it is and um so he put in an offer that same where is my con oh okay he put in an offer that same night like I'm telling you he was on it and unfortunately somebody else had or they went with another couple that had also put in an offer that same day and so we went and we looked around at other houses and I'm like, no, like, dude, I want that house. Like, which of course there was nothing we could do because they had already started with, you know, went ahead and went with the other couple. So we had seen all these houses and finally I'm like, you know what? Like, that's it. I'm done. I'm just not going to look anymore. And I don't know why. But I just had a feeling that this house was going to come back. I'm like, no, like, that is our house. This is everything that I prayed for. You guys, I prayed for a big kitchen. I prayed for a big backyard. Like, I prayed for my kids to have a room and for there to be at least a room for me to do makeup in. And it was so crazy because finally I was like you know what God like I'm just gonna leave it in your hands I'm not gonna look anymore I had told my husband I was like look if you want to look go ahead like I'm just leaving it in God's hands that's it I'm tired of looking like and like I told you like I, I had a feeling that this house was gonna come back so freaking crazy that same night after I said that my husband got on like the realtor website and he was like, dude, 
it's back on the house is back on i was like no way like i just got the chills so bad and he texted our realtor right away i am let me tell you how amazing our realtor is so it was i want to say nine o'clock at night he wrote up a contract that same night and sent it in the next day he let us know like okay the house is basically yours so all we had to do was just sign paperwork and everything you guys like i'm telling you this I don't know it's just such a blessing and uh, I don't know like that right there shows you how good God is and you know whenever something is for you nothing or no one is gonna take that away and that right there was just proof um what else happened let's see so we started the paperwork we did all of that and then trying to think <laughs> okay so it took about a month so we signed papers i want to say um february 27th and um he was like okay uh march 27th everything is gonna be done we're gonna go through everything and exactly how he said like everything was just such a smooth process after that and that month is basically for them to do repairs if there's anything wrong and just like little stuff like that but i was just so amazed at i don't know just how everything happened we did keep it a secret and really the only ones that knew were my sister-in-law because she was the one that was watching the kids for us whenever we were seeing all these houses. Um, and honestly, like, to me, it just felt so special. Like, something that I was going to get to do with my husband without anybody else's opinion. Like, this was going to be our house. Something that we both picked out. Like, I don't know. It just, it meant a lot to me. So whenever this house, we saw this house and we were both on the same page, like, that to me was just okay lizzie like this is your house this is where you're gonna raise your kids and i don't know like i just started seeing everything and it was just amazing but i'm telling you like god is just so good it just it took us leaving it in his hands like that's all we had to do and he took control of the rest okay i'm taking a little bit of brown and I'm just trying to smoke this liner out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do my lashes next. I'm using the Bebecita Lashes in the style Boss Babe. I just took them out because I had to cut them. Um, I do have a discount code with them. It is Lizze, so L-I-Z-Z-A-Y-Y, and you get 20% off, I want to say. Uh, during the move, I lost my eyelash crawler. I... It's stuck to my tweezers. Um, I lost my eyelash curler. So I've been, I, like, I'm so glad that we haven't been able to go anywhere because I feel like my lashes look so crazy because my natural lashes are straight. And, of course, my falsies are, you know, up. They're curled. Um, so I just try to put a whole bunch of mascara on there to kind of blend them in i just ordered an eyelash curler yesterday so hopefully it doesn't take too long for it to arrive i'm running low on everything y'all like i need lash glue i need a more um primer water which i think i'm not even going to spray that because where am I going to the freaking kitchen and the sala? Like, I'm not, nobody's gonna see me except for y'all, of course. But whatever. So, I'm gonna take that same contour shade that we used um, for the eyes and I am just going to contour my cheeks because I have been eating so much. Like, what? I don't know. I just love food. I love to cook too. 
so that doesn't help at least if I didn't know how to cook like you know I would starve but I know how to cook and I love food so that ain't helping me um I feel like whenever I do foundation and then contour on top like I'm just moving all of my foundation because I'm pressing to blend in my contour so I just feel like this works better for me and it still peeks through after my foundation is on so I really really like this you should you guys should really try it out and see what you think and let me know which I got this um, idea from because I I want to say his name is Scott Barnes. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, J Lo's makeup artist. That's what he does. And I was like, ooh, let me try that. Okay, another thing. So I, um, I now that we're in quarantine, I've been watching all these like live makeup tutorials. And I was watching Boomcat MUA. He's um, let's see, he's known for he he does Jeffree Star's makeup a lot. That's his makeup artist. And, um, so whenever he's doing concealer, he uses a dry sponge, not a damp one. And you guys, I tried it and I love it. I feel like it leaves my concealer with a lot, or like, it makes it more full coverage. Which, girl, I am here for full coverage. I don't care if I'm just going to be at home, like, I got three kids. I need these bags to be hidden. So I went ahead and did my foundation and powder and bronzer. All I'm just kind of like trying to even it all out. My earring is all dirty now. I should have just put them on after. I'm such a dummy. And we'll, we'll wash it off. I'm gonna brush my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this NYX brow gel, and it's clear. So what is like one thing that y'all miss the most? I mean, if you are quarantined, like what can you not wait to go do? For me, um, I cannot wait to go get waxed. I like, I really do miss it. I love getting waxed, especially with uh, Joella's Beauty Works. She's so good, y'all. If you are in the Midland area, I highly recommend her. She's so good. Um, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to get a little bit of that concealer, just like a tiny amount. And I'm going to highlight above, I mean, uh, above, above my, or on my brow bone, sorry. Okay, now we're going to move on to eyes. Um, so this is what's cool about this look, like if you want to make it smoky you can if you want to keep it a little more on the natural side you can but i love a smoky eye so i'm going to take some brown liner and i'm going to line my waterline if you wanted to you could stop here like not do any brown liner and you could do you could do a nude and then do like a very light brown eyeshadow under. Really, it's up to you, like everybody's preference. Like I said, I love a smoky eye. So I'm going to take one of the browns that's in that Frenetation palette. And I am just going to smoke this out. You know what I should have done? I should have put that same contour shade on my brush. Just a title and I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. What else is there to update y'all on? Let me see. I mean really we haven't done much <laughs> because we've just been at home. I feel like we have been spending a lot of time outside and I haven't really been on my phone which I'm glad because I don't know I feel like we just like this all of this stuff that's going on has just helped me appreciate being with my kids a lot more and going outside, like doing fun stuff, you know? So I am kind of, or I am thankful for that part because 
a lot of the times I feel like we're just stuck on our phones or, you know, just so busy with life that we forget about the little things. And I know, like, everything I'm saying just sounds so cliche and something everybody has already said but honestly like it's true it really is true I really do enjoy going outside with my kids we got a volleyball net you guys and we played last weekend and I had so much freaking fun like I just thought it was so much fun also, I found out that I'm better than my husband, so that makes me so happy. I know he is going to disagree, but he knows it's true. He knows I'm better. I am very, very competitive um, when it comes to games. Like, I am the biggest sore loser. I hate losing. I've gotten better, but have you seen, like, those videos where people get so mad where they, like, flip the table? Yeah, like... I feel like that used to be me. It just hurt losing. Like, I hated it. I still hate it. I hate losing. But I try not to show it anymore because I don't want my kids to be like that. Which, I wonder if it, that's just, like, something that, you know, runs in your blood. Or if you're just like that because you hate losing. Because, honestly, my whole family is like that. My brother's... Well, my brother, actually, he's the same way. Like, he hates losing. And I'm like, bruh, I get it. Like, I don't know. It's just like a different type of hurt, you know? So for my lips, I used BFF3 Lip Liner with this um, Slow Down Liquid Lipstick. And this Super Nude, um, what is this? Lip Gloss. So I'm going to spray my face and then let it dry. Yeah, this was such a fast and easy look. Like, you don't even need a brown eyeshadow. As long as you have like a contour shade or something that's like a little deeper than your skin, use it in your crease, girl. And then add a little bit of gold or pink. Like, you can do like a light pink. You, you can do anything with it. Change it up. Let your living room get a new view of you every day. You know? You're going to go look at yourself at the mirror in your living room. And your mirror is going to be like, who is this girl? Who is she? You're going to be like, it's still me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my shirt is, in case you were wondering, it's just like a little... Like a little, I don't know, shirt. This is from Forever 21. My earrings my mother gave to me. And then my hair. I try to change it up because if not, um, I know I will end up cutting my hair. So I'm always on Karen's page, I Love Sarai. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who she is. I love going to her Instagram for inspiration, like on clothes and makeup and um hairstyles like i just love her she's so i feel like i know her you know i feel like she's my friend but yeah that is it i hope you guys liked it thank you so much for watching this hanging out with me and hearing me talk um please let me know what you would like to see next like really i'm open for anything um please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Like, just, you know, let them know that I'm here. Let them know that I love doing makeup and we can do it together. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.